I'm 16 and do more robotics techie videos on YouTube. In the early days of LTT, how did you stay motivated and how long in the future would you say YouTube would still be a feasible career? Hmm. Needing to eat is a pretty good motivator. I think we're also all pretty determined to like make this thing work. Yeah, I was, I mean, I've talked about this in the past before, but one of the major motivators for me was just that I was tired of working with people that I didn't, um, I didn't enjoy working with, whether it was reporting to people who I didn't think deserved their positions, who I didn't think were very smart, or whether it was having to collaborate with people who were obvious nepotism hires and mm -hmm. had no valuable skills to bring to the table whatsoever. You know, I wanted a company that was not built like that. And the only way to get that is to start my own. <laughs> And, be, and the only way to get it and be sure it won't go away is to start yeah, my own. Fair enough. Yeah. And so I just really needed this thing to work. Um, you know, Yvonne and I also just generally bet really heavily on it. And so, you know, especially once we acquired the Langley house, it's, I mean, it's, it's funny to look back at it now, but we thought we were buying at the peak at like yeah. the, the highest conceivable, you know, housing pricing ends up, we got a, stellar deal or whatever but we didn't know that at the time mm -hmm. so we thought we were basically putting everything we had into this company um and we and we just really needed it to succeed and then there were multiple phases where we kind of did the same thing again when we bought the office we thought the same thing <laughs> that we were buying at the peak and it couldn't possibly go any higher so we we thought we were completely betting the farm and we needed this to succeed or like going back to our jobs there was no possible way we were paying this office mortgage. That wasn't happening, right? So yeah, eating, major motivating factor. Um, as for how long in the future did I think YouTube would still be a feasible career? I'll tell you this. We started LinusTechTips.com, the forum, before we actually launched Linus Media Group, the company. And LinusTechTips.com maybe not main reason, but at least half of its main reason for existing is in case YouTube just decides, yeah. you know what, forget about this channel anymore. I mean, I, we didn't have a contact at YouTube at that time. We didn't, we didn't know that they would continue to take the creator community seriously. We didn't know if they would just, you know, cut your AdSense payment or, or maybe you get three strikes out of nowhere or take it or take it away entirely. Like, we didn't know what the plan was for the platform, right? We were just guessing. Um, so at the time, no, I, I, I would, I would, I would take every deal. I would make every video thinking this could be the last one. And I don't think that really changed until you know, three, four, five years in really. I mean, even now it still feels sketchy because of like just dealing with algorithmic throws all the time. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a, it's a very unsettling industry to work in. It just is. Yeah, that's a good point. Luke was telling me he had some meetings with some creators that um, were, I don't know if bewildered is the right word, but just um, taken aback when he talked about how stressed we get about algorithmic changes or about... Um, you know, whether uh, just the fear we have for our survival. And they're like, well, I thought you're past that point. And it's like, I don't think everybody, anybody ever gets past that yeah. point. That's the thing about um, like exponential decay, right? Is no matter how high you start, everyone ends up at zero. There's a near infinite graveyard of extremely massive Talented. extremely successful very talented creators and channels and all that kind of stuff that were household names on youtube that are effectively just gone that are in a lot of cases still making content we won't see them in your recommendation feels like it though. can really happen to anyone really anyone I, I, i've seen channels with with millions of subscribers that get hundreds of views it's like oh man and in some cases, 
in some cases they changed the content and it's just not working anymore. Yep. In some cases they didn't change the content and that's contributing to it not working anymore. Mm -hmm. And in other cases, I'm looking at it going, I can't really tell the difference. Um, you know, uh, I, 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 the point is not to to name and shame. No, but this person in particular did like a, a series. Um, or wait, is this? Is that the right one? Mm. I think I know what one you're talking about. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This one. This one. Yeah. Um, let me just make sure because I don't want to. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. I don't know. But basically. I might not name it. Yeah. Yeah. There was a creator that was doing real amazing and then just kind of completely fell off the map. I'm talking like her top video has over 50 million views 11 years ago. And there's multiple videos here with 10 million views and more doing challenges and stuff. And then just, you know, she, she's talked about this. I think if, the, if I'm remembering correctly, she's talked about how it felt like she just disappeared overnight algorithmically. And again, this is a channel with millions of subscribers. Nobody, nobody is, nobody is safe. Yeah. Um, let me just see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. It's Glozell. Um, so she did an interview talking about how she went broke, uh, shared some advice for young creators and, um, yeah, being, yeah, this is, this is great. Being broke with millions of subscribers. She shares her story of hardship. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a really, it's a really interesting fall, right? Because it, it, it's not the type of content that I consume. So I'm not really qualified to evaluate yeah. whether, you know, she changed or, or didn't change or what, what the problem was that caused this precipitous decline in viewership. But no one's no one's safe. That's that's the whole point. Um, so we're we just need to we need to keep reinventing. We need to keep pushing, and we can never take our foot off the gas because if we do, we die. It's uh, I, I I often use shark analogies internally. Stop swimming, die. Yeah. Yeah, like actually though. <laughs>